Hello, I hope you're all well. It's great to be here in this space. What I'm going to go through today is um, just a gentle way to be kind to yourself. Today's call or session is more about self-care. And within that becomes our, our breath. It's our, our breath. We, How do you breathe? What I'd like you to do at the moment is just sit nice and comfortably and close your eyes. Feel your body getting nice into this space. And how are you breathing? Just listen to your body. Just your own rhythmic breathing. And as you're breathing, what thoughts are going through your mind? As they come in, just say thank you and let them pass through. Listen to any sounds that are coming through and just say thank you. Just let them go. If you can hear drilling or conversations, just make, it, make you smile. Life is going on around you. You're just listening to your breath. And think about your breath. Where are you breathing? Are you breathing into the top half? Are you chest breathing? And just think about how you're going to follow as you're breathing through your nose. Follow the journey of your breath. Where does it go? Just get to know your body and how it's breathing at the moment. It's really good to have knowledge of how you breathe because it affects your nervous system. There are breathing exercises you can do to strengthen the vagus nerve. You know, it's really interesting because we breathe so differently when we're stressed to when we're relaxed. And what I want to work with today is getting you to have knowledge of you and your body and how you breathe. And I would ask moving forward from uh, this session is when you're in a, an anxious situation or you're worried, how do you breathe? You know, and get to know your, your breath work through different situations in your life. So then you can notice if you're really like you to the panic and you're really chest breathing, but you know when you're calm. So what I want you to do now is go to a calm place for you and breathe and breathe in a way that makes you feel calm. And I want you to get to knowledge of the, how that breath feels. So I'm going to go through a breath with you and I want you to breathe in for one, hold for four and out for two. So that's breathing for one, nice big breath, hold for four and then out for two. So you know how you're breathing now, you know how you feel, how you've turned up to this session. Do you have anxiety? Are you nice and relaxed? You just come to see, you know, sort of, another way of looking at things. So you all got your own reason to have clicked onto this session. So where are you? Just close your eyes, enjoy the moment. You can even wriggle a little bit. Move your Kundalini around the energy. Um, you can, when you're here, um, your sex area is where we say, we call it your yoni. You can hold your yoni in and just move and just relax into that feeling of being enough. You are enough and you're in this space. You're taking some time for self-care. And self-care is knowing what works for you. So I'm going to be quiet for a moment. And just let you connect to that breath in the state you are now.
And now I'm going to go through four cycles of this. And I want you to breathe in for one, a nice big breath through the nose. Hold for four. And out through the mouth for two. In for one. Hold for four. And out for two. Again, nice big breath in through the nose. Hold for four. And out for two. And again, breathe in. Nice big breath in. Feel like take it all in through your body and not lift your shoulders when you take your breath in. You expand the back. So breathe into the back. Breathe in. Hold for four, three, two, one. And out for two. Okay. Now I want you to think about how that feels. Again, just sit with that. Does your body become more relaxed? When you're taking deeper breaths than normal, you can be a little bit heady. So all of that is fine. Just get to know your body. Because if you find yourself in a stressful situation, you know, you might have to do something you don't really want to do. So your nervous system is going to have a reaction to that. A lot of the time it shows itself in more shallow breath. So if you're feeling, say, you have to do your tax returns and you don't like doing it, you feel that anxiety. You can get to the computer or start getting your paperwork together. Change your breath. If it's a conversation you don't really want to have, calm your nervous system down and have a nice breathing, hold, and then out and just relax the nervous system. We're in control of our breath. And the, the science behind it all over the past few decades, as a human race, we breathe less now in these Western countries. We shallow breathe into our chest. Um, and we want to expand that breath down to that body so what i'm going to get you to do today is round yourself to make sure that your feet are nice comfortably on the floor and your body is nice and relaxed and i want you to take in a nice deep breath expand in the back and out again and i want you to visualize roots coming through your feet through your body lovely strong roots going into the ground And then think of a crystal that comes to your mind today. And I want you to visualize that crystal in the middle of the earth. And these roots are going down big and strong and they're grounding you to Mother Earth. Going down, 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 down. And then these roots are wrapping around the crystals. And you just feel that energy coming through, that security of being grounded. I just want you to be with that moment, feeling the grounding, feeling that energy of security, being connected to Mother Earth. And feeling your body expanding with the breath. And now what I'd like you to do is get into a comfortable position. You can um, be sitting, you can lie down for the next 10 minutes. And I'm not going to play any music because I want you to be with the sounds around you. So just get yourself comfortable. As I say, you can be in your chair as long as you can sit there comfortably and relax. Or if you want to get comfortable on the sofa or the floor and put a blanket over you, that's fine. Just get yourself comfortable. Let me give you a few seconds to do that. So now you're comfortable. I just want you to become aware 
So as you breathe in through your nose, in your own rhythmic breathing, I want you to breathe in awareness and breathe out anything that doesn't serve you any longer. Be aware of where you are, the sounds around you and your body. Breathe in. And just get knowledge of your body. How are you feeling? You know, what's happening in your brain? You know, do you have constant chit-chat? Are you nice and relaxed? Get to know yourself. Get to know your inner universe. To just lie or sit with yourself, whatever position you're in. And I want to invite you to do a scan of your body. So starting from the top of your head, think of a scan going through your body. Going through your body nicely. And feel where you feel any blocks, any stiffness, any aches, or anything like just scanning through your body. I'm at my waist now. What does it feel like? Does the energy feel fuzzy? Does it feel dull? Just get to know what's going on in your body. I'm going through my legs now, through my knees my calves into my feet and what we want you to do is wriggle your feet we neglect our feet so much and they take us on every step through life so wiggle your toes get the energy going wiggle your ankles and how did that feel this is so individual to you to get to know your inner workings, your inner feelings, your inner mind. Remember, we can control our thoughts. That chatter in our mind is not us speaking to ourselves. It can be lots and lots and lots of things, so we can calm the chatter down. And that's what we want to do in this session. Any sounds, any people talking, dogs barking, birds singing. You might live somewhere where it's just really peaceful. To take on wherever it is around you. Can you hear the sea? Can you hear cars driving up down the road? If you can, just let them go. And if a thought comes in and it's there and you can't just say thank you and just let it go. So now I want to visualize that you are walking up a field and you're walking in the green grass, and you have all these signs around you, or if you prefer to be on a beach, wherever you enjoy walking, and you see just in front of you a net, a fishing net, and you stand in the middle of this fishing net, taking a nice big deep breath. <sighs> And I want you to feel this net sort of coming up through the soles of your feet. You can feel it tugging. And the net's coming up. And it's pulling up. As it's coming up, it's taking with it anything that doesn't serve you any longer. As you feel it coming up through your ankles, there might be a bit of a tug there. And it's taking anything away. Pull it up. It's coming up through your calves, through your knees through your thighs and your buttocks and your yoni. It's taking any stresses, any past trauma, anything that's in your body that isn't needed any longer. I feel this neck pull. What's left behind is tingly and nice and, and it's going through and you're actually feeling the pull. It's now come to your torso. And this neck is pulling. You can feel the tugs of it pulling through your body up through your chest, it's incorporated your hands, and it's now here, and it's coming up here. And you can feel, and your chest and your neck area, this net is pulling, pulling, but it's heavier now, and you can feel it's heavier. It's coming up by your throat and your chest. Now it's at the top of your head, and you can feel the weight. 
and it's a big tug, big, big tug, and all of a sudden his neck leaves your body and throws everything that's in it back out into the universe. It's why it's gone. It's gone. Now I want you to sit with your body. How does it feel? Taking another big deep breath. I want you to breathe in for two. Expanding the chest, not lifting the shoulders, expanding the chest. Hold for four. And then out for two. And how does that feel? Again, I just want you to get knowledge of your body and how it works. Now I'm going to ask you to breathe in for a little bit longer. I want you to breathe in for four, hold for five, and out for seven. If you can't, that's fine. Carry on with what you were doing. So breathe in for four through the nose, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then do that again, breathe in for four, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one last time, breathe in for four, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and out for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then just go back to your rhythmic breathing. And how's your body feeling? How's your body feeling? More energized, more knowledge of how you're feeling. And now I want you to think of a lovely white or blue light coming in through the top of your head, feel it coming into your brain, because now you've got rid of things, energies, static energies, dull energies, all gone. I want you now to feel that white healing or blue healing light coming into your brain, coming into your head, and it's replacing the space you have now is being replaced by healing energy. Feel that coming through your body and into your shoulders and your back, into your hands, through your torso, into your buttocks and your yoni, your legs. You feel that healing energy in your ankles and your feet. If you want to move and feel that energy going through your body and smile, Release the happy hormones in your body and just feel that healing energy. Then this healing energy that's in your body, connect with it. Then I want you to expand the energy. Expand it into the space that you're in. Feel this white healing energy all in the space that you're in and your body and it's all just flowing. And then I want this energy to expand out into the area that you live. Connecting all through the area around the world. Just let the energy just expand. I feel it then just expand into the universe. And just feel that relaxing energy. As you're feeling that healing energy, taking a nice deep breath. <sighs> nice deep breath. <sighs> and make the sound as it comes to breathing. And as you exhale, <sighs> and just connect on that with that makes you feel. And breathing. 
<sighs> now I just want you to relax in the space that you're in. There's no expectations. You don't have to feel anything, be anything. Just be with you in this space. I'm going to spray you some nice, maybe you can't smell it, but in your mind, what's your favourite smell? And that smell is coming around you now. Oh, I'm breathing. And I want you to say these words while you're resting and in this space. I want you to say to yourself, I am worthy. I am loved. I want you to thank your body for everything it's brought you through. Your body fights for you 24 7. Just there. And just send love through your body. I want you to put your hand on your heart and one hand over your sex center. And when you breathe in now, I want you to breathe in to your yoni, your base, your sacral chakras. Breathe into those and breathe in. And as you breathe in, you can tighten the perineum and tighten your yonis. If you were going to the toilet, you can pull that in. And for the lingam, for the men, again, if you're going to the toilet, as if you're going to hold it in, and just as you breathe in, tighten. As you breathe out, release. And breathe in through your yoni. Breathe into your yoni. Breathe in. I feel like you've been breathing into your yoni. So your air is coming. And release. Follow your breath down into your yoni. And your lingam area, your sex area, the pelvic bowl breathing. And release. When you breathe in next time, you can put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and breathe in. Feel the energy coming up. And One more time. And then again, with your hands still on your heart, I want you to breathe into your yoni or your lingam area. And then I want you to breathe into your sex area and then bring it up to your heart. So as you breathe in, and then feel the breath coming up to your heart. And then I... And breathe in, following the breath down. Tightening the yoni, feeling the perineum tightening, and then bring that to your heart. Expand and out again. And then breathe in. Taking your breath down. Tighten. Come to the top of your mouth and breathe in. And then just relax into your normal rhythmic breathing only move that is comfortable for you you know your own body and what restrictions you have when you're sitting there now or you're lying there i want you to either tap your hands on the side of the chair or on the floor just lightly like this and just smile i am worthy i am strong I'm taking forward everything that I've learned in life, whatever situation I have been in. I'm taking forward the education. If it was an amazing time you went through, I'm expanding, bringing that out, and I'm taking it forward. I am worthy. I am enough. To even be born, you were born enough. You were born worthy. Now what I want you to do is stop the tapping 
And I want you to breathe in, brush your breathing. I want you to tighten every part of your body, your toes, your feet, your tummy, your shoulders, your face, tighten it all up. Tight, 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 tight. Breathe in. And release. Ah. So in your own time, wiggle your toes. Start to move your shoulders round. If your eyes are closed, open your eyes. And then when you're ready, either sit back on your chair or um, you're already on your chair. Good move. <sighs> How you feeling? I hope you're feeling good. And these are all simple breath techniques that I want you to be able to take into your everyday life. So when you've got anxiety and you've got knowledge of your breath, you know then tap into the breath that calms you down. Have a practice with it. So when you've got anxiety, you know, maybe you're going in for a procedure or you're going to meet somebody you don't really want, you're going to the bank manager, you're going anything like this, you know that it will be elevated. So what you can do then is bring your breath down and relax your nervous system. And the more you do this, the more your body will know not to, you're not amplifying the stress. So the breath work is so, so important. It's so important um, because it, it's what keeps us alive. It's what circulates around. And we need to three to five times a day, stop and just take in a big, deep breath. People use belly breath. They push as you're breathing. You push your belly out. As you breathe out, you suck your belly button into your your spine. I like more to to do that, but to expand the rib cage. You're breathing into the lungs, you're expanding that energy, and breathe in and hold and how to get. And some people can find that really hard to take a breath deeper because they've got used to just breathing into their chest. I say it can make you feel a bit icky. Uh, but even if you only do one time, three times a day to start off with, your body's going to say thank you. Your nervous system is going to say thank you. So really, this was the idea of my workshop today, to bring with you a knowledge to have a look at how you breathe and how that affects your nervous system and how your body, your nervous system is imprinted at 12 months old. The science behind it that your nervous system reacts on the, how is imprinted on how you react on a human level as you get older. So really to bring with you how important breath is and to get to know how it affects your nervous system. So over the next 24 to 72 hours, if you're in a stressful situation, take a moment. How are you breathing? Get to know where your calm space is and breathe and bring that you back down to this calm space. And then whatever situation you're in, your nervous system isn't activated in the way to fight and flight and all everything that goes into that. You can bring it down and you can um, give yourself, be kinder to yourself with introducing breath work and knowledge of your inner universe and how you react in certain situations and how you can bring your breath consciously to a space that makes you calmer. So I hope you've enjoyed this little conversation. Um, if you want to book a session, I'm a clinical breathwork coach, tantric healer. I also do Reiki and uh, shamanic healing. And I'm a mindset coach with all the different modalities that come with that too. So you can book me um, through the Odyssey platform and I would be it would be an absolute pleasure to work with you. But I want you to walk away with a little bit more knowledge on how to self-regulate through breath work.